The Magnificent Cane Corso, an Italian Mastiff breed known for its noble, intelligent, loyal, and strong traits, has a long history of serving as war dogs, hunters, guardians, and farm workers. Despite nearly vanishing after World War II, they've recently become one of the most popular breeds in the United States. With their impressive lineage and protective instincts, this breed remains an awe-inspiring companion and guardian. So, in this video, we'll explore the history of the Cane Corso dog breed, origins and history. The Cane Corso breed originates from ancient Italy and descends from Roman war dogs, which were believed to have come from the Molossians, an ancient Greek breed. Romans used them as battle dogs, attaching containers of flaming oil to their backs and sending them to create chaos in enemy lines. After the fall of Rome in AD 476, Cane Corsos were no longer used as battle dogs and found new roles as guard dogs, hunting companions, and even farm workers. Thanks to their discipline and strong work ethic, they adapted well to these new roles. They were particularly adept at guarding people and property, as well as hunting wild boars and other animals. Additionally, some people employed them for farm work, such as pulling carts and sniffing out pests. These dogs were viewed as courageous, daring, and impervious to harm, resulting in the breeding of the Cane Corso and the Neapolitan. Before we continue, make sure to check the links in the description. We found the best deals for online dog training, dog supplies, pet insurance, and more. What are you waiting for? Characteristics The Cane Corso is a formidable breed, with males sometimes reaching heights of 27 inches or 70 centimeters, and weighing between 90 and 110 pounds, or 40 and 50 kilograms. Their large muscular build and heavy bones are emphasized by their short, soft, and shiny double coats, which can be black, fawn, gray, red, or brindle in color. Some Cane Corsos even have white markings on their chest, though the size of this mark can vary. The breed's facial features, including their massive heads, box-shaped muzzles, and serious-looking eyes can be quite intimidating at times, though. However, the Cane Corso are known for their loyalty and affection towards their families when appropriately socialized. Revival Moving forward during the 19th and 20th centuries, the Cane Corso breed unfortunately dwindled in numbers and nearly became extinct. Industrial changes such as the introduction of machines to do farm work were seen as possible reasons for this decline. However, in the 1970s, Vito Indiveri, a traveling salesman and Cane Corso enthusiast, discovered some dogs on a farm that he recognized as Cane Corsos. Along with a few other Italians who were also working to revive the breed, Indiveri's efforts culminated in the formation of the first Cane Corso club in the 1980s. Thanks to the dedication of these individuals, the breed was saved from extinction, and today Cane Corsos continue to be valued for their versatility and loyalty. As both working dogs and beloved pets, their story is a testament to the resilience of a breed and the importance of preserving our animal heritage. Cane Corsos American Journey Then, in 1988, Michael Sautile, a Neapolitan Mastiff enthusiast, played a key role in importing the first Cane Corsos to the United States. After a casual conversation with a farmer about dogs, over the next few decades, the breed gained popularity in America, with their striking appearance, intelligence, and loyalty winning over many canine lovers. Despite their imposing stature, people found Cane Corsos to be surprisingly affectionate and devoted as domestic family dogs too. With that, our video has come to an end here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pets and dog-related content. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.